it is a beautiful area and so quiet and peaceful by day, by night, it is war. This is part of a letter that my mother, Nancy L. Welch, wrote home when I was just eight years old. When we were living in the city of Saigon in the country of Vietnam in 1975, just before the end of the Vietnam War. Now, officially, the Vietnam War had been over for two years, over two years. However, there was still danger afoot in the city. It is, so, it is a beautiful area and so quiet and peaceful. By day, by night, it is war. My name's Kat Fitzpatrick, and I am the daughter of a CIA official who rescued 1,000 people at the very end of the Vietnam War. Most people, when they think of the Viet end of the war, they imagine the helicopters going off of the embassy roof. I wasn't there. I'd been evacuated out just weeks before. My father wasn't there. He saw that coming, and he decided he was going to get his staff out of there, down into the south part of the country, and off to a ship from that area. So a thousand people came to America and had lives. They lost their home, South Vietnam, but they had their lives, which was more than they might have had had they stayed in Saigon. I've worked on this writing for over 10 years. My book, For the Love of Vietnam, is kind of a funny title, but it's a, a little bit ironic. You might say, you know, for the love of God, but for the love of Vietnam, my dad took that action, did the right thing, and helped out many of his compatriots. For the love of Vietnam, he was there for those people. Somehow that love got passed down to me. This is a plaque that was given to him by one of his staff members, thanking him for helping them out of the country in those final hours. And again, somehow that love got passed down to me and I took up the mantle and again, spent 10 years writing. It's not a memoir, really. It's not like my memories and what I felt about it. I did research the history. I wrote about him as a man, as a CIA official. I wrote about our family being there at this dangerous time. I wrote about what was happening with Nixon and Kissinger and Ford and President Tu. And in the end, I write about his very exciting, from firsthand documentation, his exciting rescue of over a thousand people. I invite you to read the book or comment here. I am going to record more videos so that this kind of information is available as we approach the 50th anniversary of the end of the Vietnam War. It was an era that Ken Burns called one in which we questioned our American exceptionalism, was more devastating to our soldiers than any other conflict before, and which our country is actually still reeling from, though we don't have it at the forefront of our consciousness. Perhaps with conversations that start um, from talks like this, we might be able to dig a little bit deeper, find out where those um, pains and schisms still exist and what we can do. Vietnam is not just a war. It's a country. There are so many beautiful things there. I know many beautiful Vietnamese people. And I'd like to help elevate the conversation from just talking about the war. But we have to start with the war. What happened there? Why was a family sent into a war zone in 1974? Why was I at an eight-year-old having to worry about Viet Cong? All that and more is in this book and will be presented here as time goes on. Thank you. And I hope I have piqued your interest and that we can convene again in the not too distant future.